In a swirl of snowflakes, the family and friends of the late Amanda Todd gather to celebrate her life. In a video posted on YouTube prior to her recent suicide, 15-year-old Amanda told her story of despair and the bullying she faced at school and online. Viewed over 25 million times since her death, the attention to Amanda's story has helped focus the world on the issue of online bullying. I have lost my daughter, a bright, strong, unique young woman. And here is the bat. Although she is gone from our physical world, she has left behind a larger-than-life message that has sparked the world and has made its open its eyes, its ears, and its hearts. New research into the phenomenon of online harassment known as cyberbullying is beginning to reveal its dangers. The digital media keeps the initial bullying instance in its most potent original form, as well as that the victim can never escape it, so it follows them through mobile devices into their own home or even their own bedroom. New technologies instantly connect people in vast communication networks. Researchers fear they may at the same time disconnect us emotionally and interfere with children's development. It's easier to say mean stuff like on the internet, so like on YouTube or on Facebook, because like it's easier to say because you're not saying it to their face. So that's what the they pressure see. is now on educators to rethink their strategies on how to confront the new face of bullying. A little like this, there isn't any evidence that I'm aware of that, that says bullying is on the rise. The fact that we're working on it so hard and have been with a goal of social responsibility for such a number of years, and we're not seeing a significant change and decline, then it means that we have the right intention, but we're not working smarter. We're, we need to shift what we're doing and, and for things to make a difference. And here in Amanda Todd's school district, these students are meeting in a circle to discuss online safety and social responsibility. The issue seems as complex and ever-evolving as the internet itself. One clear strategy is not yet apparent. Most experts agree that building trusting relationships and developing empathy between children and adults is the key to the solution. It's important to me as a victim of bullying that People, like, the awareness is out there and it becomes something that is widely known and people will now know, you know, we have voices and we need to be heard and this needs to be stopped. New research and initiatives aim to stop another death like that of Amanda Todd. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.